Hey there, tech fans. Rick here again from the O-Ray team with an overview of the UHD-EXM500-KVM HDMI extension kit with KVM functionality. This product was engineered to make it incredibly easy for you to share all of your HDMI media content with multiple remote locations at the same time, up to 120 meters away over a single CAT6 or CAT7 LAN cable. The product fully supports 4K ultra high definition media content and is both HDMI 2.0 as well as HDCP 2.2 compliant, which means it's going to work perfectly fine with all of your modern media gear. The product also provides local loopback at the primary side so you can continue to enjoy the content here that you're distributing to your remote locations. The product also features KVM functionality, which means you can connect the keyboard and mouse up at one of the remote locations to completely control a computer at the primary location. Now as part of this overview, I'd like to start with a quick unboxing of the product just to show you everything that's included. And then I'll take a closer look at the transmitter and the receiver modules and explain the connections and indicators so you understand how to use it. I'll list the features and functions the product provides and then I'll come back and do a short demonstration to show you just how easy this product will be to use with your own equipment. So let's get started with the unboxing. When you first open up the box, you'll find a transmitter module and a receiver module. You'll find two DC 5 volt 2 amp power supplies. You can simply plug this into any standard wall outlet. The other end has a barrel connection on it, which plugs into the back of the module and provides all the power you'll need for operation. You'll find a bag of accessories that include a bracketing kit you can use to mount these up off the ground and out of the way, and an RS-232 connection block because these can also transmit RS-232 control signals between the primary and secondary location, and that connection block makes it easier to make that connection to the back of the unit. You'll find a single USB cable that can be used with the transmitter to connect it to your computer, and a full instruction manual is also included that lists connection diagrams, specifications, and a lot of really good information you'll need to understand about this product in order to use it correctly. Now, if you stay tuned next, I'll take a closer look at both modules, I'll list the features and functions, and then I'll come back and do that demonstration. The kit includes both a transmitter and a receiver module. Both of these feature full metal enclosures which make them incredibly durable and helps to minimize outside interference from causing any issues with the sensitive electronics inside. Let's start with the transmitter module first. On either side of the cabinet you'll find ventilation slots that are designed to let any heat that develops during operation escape and keep the electronics inside at a very comfortable temperature. You'll also find mounting holes on both sides that can be used with a bracketing kit to mount the module up off the ground and out of the way. On the front of the transmitter module, starting on the left, you'll find a reset button. Once you apply power to the module, you can hold that button down for a few seconds to reset the module if needed. To the right of that is a power indicator. The minute you add power to the module, it immediately starts an internal power on self-test where it checks the electronics, and once it passes that test, it'll light that LED letting you know it's ready to use. To the right of that is a status indicator. Initially, that'll be off. When you make a connection over the LAN to one of the remote receivers from the transmitter, that connection is checked, and this will be flashing while that's being checked. Once it's been verified, that LED will stay on solid, indicating a good connection between your transmitter and a receiver module. To the right of that is a KVM indicator. When you connect the transmitter up to a computer and a keyboard and mouse up to one of the receivers, the KVM functionality is enabled, and that light will come on letting you know it's ready to use. So under normal operation, power, status, and KVM should all be on if you're using the KVM functionality. To the right of that is a left and right input connection. It's a three and a half millimeter analog connection. You can inject audio here that can be played at the remote location. To the right of that is an RS-232 connection block. This product also passes RS-232 control signals between the transmitter and the receiver locations. And if you'd like to use that function, you can make a connection there. To the right of that is a micro USB port labeled upgrade, and that's used for updating the firmware on the module if needed later on. You can simply connect the module to your computer with a micro USB cable, move the firmware file over to the module to complete that upgrade. On the rear of the module, you'll find several connections. Starting on the left, you'll find a full-sized USB-A port, and that's where you'll connect your computer using the cable that's included with the kit. To the right of that is an HDMI port labeled HDMI in. This connects to the media device that you'd like to share the content from with your remote location. To the right of that is an HDMI output port. This product provides local loopback functionality, which allows you to enjoy the content here as you share it with your remote locations. And if you'd like to enable that function, connect an HDMI cable from this port to a local monitor. Both of these should be used with high performance cables to ensure the best possible output. 
To the right of that is the LAN connection. That's where one end of the CAT6 or CAT7 cable between the transmitter and receiver plugs in. And to the right of that is the DC input port, and that's used with the included power supply. Simply plug that power supply into the wall. The other end of the cable has a barrel connection on it, which plugs in right there. The transmitter is very similar. Again, ventilation slots on both sides, as well as mounting holes on both sides. On the front of the unit, you'll find a reset button to reset this module if needed. Power indicator, status indicator, KVM indicator, all function exactly the same as the transmitter. To the right of that, you'll find two full-sized USB-A ports, and that's where a keyboard and mouse can be connected if you decide to use the KVM functionality. This is where the RS-232 control signals from the primary side are being sent. To the right of that, another upgrade port in case you need to upgrade the firmware on the receiver. On the rear of the unit, you'll find another 3.5mm audio output port, and that's where you can play the audio from the primary side if you inject it at the transmitter. To the right of that is another LAN port. That's where the other end of that CAT6 or CAT7 cable from the transmitter plugs in. To the right of that is an HDMI output port. This connects to a local monitor at that remote site that you'd like to use for enjoying the content. And finally, to the right of that is another DC input port at the receiver. That's with the second power supply. You'll plug that into the wall, plug the barrel connection in there. That'll provide all the power you'll need for operation of that module. The O-Ray UHD-EXM500-KVM is compatible with most modern HDMI media sources, including game consoles, media players like Roku, digital projectors, streaming devices, and computer systems. The product's features include full support of 4K ultra-high definition media content. It allows you to share your HDMI content from one primary location to multiple remote locations at the same time. It is both HDMI 2.0 as well as HDCP 2.2 compliant. It provides 120 meters of extension between locations and includes both local loopback as well as KVM functionality. Now I'll show you the connections you'll need to make to use this product with your own equipment. And for this demonstration, over here, I've set up a small mini PC that's currently being displayed on this monitor, and that's the media content I'd like to share with my remote locations. Over here, I've set up two monitors that represent different remote locations. This is where I'd like to enjoy the content from that primary site. In front of me, I have the transmitter module here and the receiver module here. Now, the first set of connections I'll make are to the transmitter module, and I'll start by disconnecting the PC from the monitor and plugging that HDMI cable directly into the HDMI input port on the transmitter. And now I can connect the receiver at the remote location. I have a second high-speed HDMI cable connected to the bottom monitor, and I'll plug that into the HDMI output port of the receiver. And now we can add power. I've already plugged in both power supplies. The other end of the cable from those power supplies have barrel connections on them, which plug directly into the DC input port on both of the modules. Now, the minute I add power to these modules, they start that internal power on self-test I mentioned, where they're checking the electronics, the transmitter is checking the resolution of the media device, and the receiver is checking the resolution of my output monitors. The only thing we're missing at this point is the LAN connection between them, and that has to be a CAT6 or a CAT7 cable. So I've got a CAT6 cable right here that I'll use to make that connection, and I'll plug that into the receiver, and the other end of that into the transmitter. And once I make that connection, both modules handshake, and they negotiate resolution on the output monitor. It takes a second for that to happen, and there you go. So what you're viewing here is content from the primary side, that's HDMI, that's been converted into a signal that can be sent across the LAN cable, and then converted back into an HDMI signal for display on that monitor. Now, there are a few features this product provides that I'd like to show you next, starting with the local loopback functionality, because you noticed when I disconnected that monitor, I can no longer view the content at the primary side. I can only view it at the remote location. Well, local loopback fixes that because it allows me to enjoy the content here while I'm simultaneously sharing it with my remote locations. And to use that feature, you'll need another high-speed HDMI cable, and you can connect that up to the monitor. And the other end of that cable plugs directly into the HDMI output port on the transmitter. Now, when I make that connection, the transmitter has to negotiate the remote monitor and the local monitor's resolution, so it blanks out for a second until it can make that adjustment. And you'll see there's the local, and pretty soon the remote's going to come up. And again, what you're viewing here is content from the primary side, locally you're viewing it, that's been shared remotely with that second location. 
Another nice feature this product provides is the KVM functionality, and that allows me to connect the keyboard and mouse up at one of the remote locations to completely control the computer at the primary location. And to use that feature, you'll first need to connect the computer up to the transmitter using the included USB cable. I've already plugged it into the computer. The other end of the cable plugs into the USB-A port on the back of the transmitter. And once I've made that connection, I'm ready to connect the keyboard and mouse up at the remote location. Now you can use a wired product. I like to use wireless products, so I've got a single USB-A dongle, and I'll plug that into the USB-A port on the front of the unit. It takes a second for the transmitter to recognize the fact that KVM's been enabled, and you'll know you're ready to go when the KVM light comes on on the receiver. Now I can use the mouse over here to control the computer. And again, what's amazing about this is that I'm at a remote location up to 120 meters away using a keyboard and mouse to control a computer at the primary site. One last feature that really sets this product apart is the fact that this relationship can be a one-to-one -one with a single transmitter and a single receiver or a one-to-many with a single transmitter sending the same media content to multiple locations at the same time. And if you'd like to use that feature, you'll need another receiver module and you'll need a switch because you've got to extend the LAN connection between the different receivers. Now, if you already have a switch set up, you can connect this up to your network and you're gonna be fine, but it has to be a one gig connection for the best possible results. So I've already got a monitor up top here. I've got another HDMI cable connected to that and the power supply is plugged in. So I'll connect that monitor up to the next receiver and I'll power that up. And then all I have to do at that point is extend my network. Now I've got a one gig switch right here that I'll use. I'll disconnect the transmitter from the receiver and plug that into the switch. And then I can connect both of my receivers up to the same switch and we should be set. I've got two more short cables right here that are CAT6. So I'll plug those into the two receivers and the other end of those into any port on my switch. And again, it's gonna take a second for the transmitter to recognize the fact that I've got multiple receivers connected up. And, and there you go. It's just that quick. And the nice thing is that content can be distributed to multiple remote locations at the same time, all of them being about 120 meters from the primary side. So if you have content you need to broadcast to multiple locations, you can simply add these receivers and send that same content to all those remote locations. And it really is just that easy to get it working. I hope you found this overview of the O-Ray UHD-EXM500-KVM helpful. This product provides an incredibly easy way for you to share all of your HDMI media content with multiple remote locations at the same time, up to 120 meters away from the primary location, over a single CAT6 or CAT7 LAN cable. The product fully supports 4K ultra high definition media content and is both HDMI 2.0 as well as HDCP 2.2 compliant, which means it's plug and play compatible with all of your modern media gear. The KVM functionality allows you to connect the keyboard and mouse up at the remote location to completely control a computer you have located at the primary location. And the local loopback functionality means you can continue to enjoy the content at your primary location that you're distributing to all of your remote locations. Everything you need to get started is included with the kit, and with a few simple connections, you can be up and running in no time. So until next time, thanks again for watching.